The average American chews nearly 300 pieces of bubblegum every year. But have you ever stopped mid-chew and asked yourself, what is this stuff actually made of? Why is it pink? Why does it stretch? And how the heck does it hold a bubble? Well, today on Curious Constructs, we're unwrapping the secret world behind one of the most iconic treats ever created, bubblegum. From its sticky beginnings to the jaw-dropping science behind every chew, you're about to see gum in a whole new way. Bubblegum wasn't born in a candy lab. It was actually the happy accident of an accountant named Walter Deemer at the Fleer Chewing Gum Company back in 1928. Deemer was just playing with formulas when he created a gum that didn't stick to your teeth and could actually blow bubbles, big ones. He called it Double Bubble, slapped it in some wrappers, and the world never looked back. But here's the weirdest part. Why is bubblegum pink? Turns out, pink was the only dye Walter had in the lab that day. And just like that, an entire color was branded into pop culture. By the 1950s, bubblegum wasn't just candy, it was a sport. Kids everywhere were blowing bubbles bigger than their heads, competing for bragging rights on schoolyards. Some teachers even banned it because bubbles were bouncing off walls like sugar-coated balloons. Fast forward to the golden age of gum, the 70s and 80s. Pop culture exploded with brands like Hubba Bubba and Big League Chew, and bubblegum even had its own genre of music. It wasn't just a treat anymore, it was a vibe. Now let's dive inside the factory where the modern magic happens. Step one, the gum base. This used to come from tree sap, but today it's a carefully engineered synthetic rubber designed for maximum stretch and chew. Step two, the sweeteners. Think corn syrup, sugar, and sometimes honey. These bind with the base and give that sugary kick that keeps your jaw working over time. Step three, flavor. Here's where it gets interesting. Bubblegum flavor isn't just one thing. It's actually a blend of vanilla, banana, cherry, and more. It's like fruit salad, disguised as nostalgia. Step four, color. Still pink, most of the time, but manufacturers now use food safe dyes to produce every hue from neon green to electric blue. Step five, mix, heat, and roll. The gum mixture is heated to a sticky goop, blended until smooth, and then cooled and rolled out like pasta dough.
Machines cut it into strips, sheets, or pellets, depending on the brand. Then comes scoring, shaping, and sometimes dusting the gum with powdered sugar to prevent it from sticking. And yes, there's even a machine that tests how big a bubble it can blow before it pops. If you're loving this breakdown, hit subscribe and join us here on Curious Constructs, where everyday things become extraordinary. Before any gum hits the shelves, it's tested for chewability, flavor consistency, and, believe it or not, bubble performance. Once approved, it's wrapped, sealed, boxed, and shipped to stores around the globe. ready for you to unwrap, chew, and maybe, just maybe, blow a bubble that would make Walter Deemer proud. So, the next time you chew a piece of gum, remember, you're not just tasting candy. You're chewing on history, chemistry, invention, and a little bit of rebellion. Because bubble gum isn't just fun. It's science in disguise, only here on Curious Constructs.